Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today's video is going to be kind of, <laughs> what do we want to call this? It's not like a first impressions. I have tested almost every single product that I am going to be talking about in this video, but not quite all of them. This is kind of the makeup I got myself for my birthday this year. We've been trapped in the house with a sick toddler for like a week and I am feeling so exhausted. So I just wanted to sit down and have a little bit of fun with makeup. My mom got me this mug for my birthday. How cute is this? Also, I have some new Dashing Diva nails on. Green for the Super Bowl. So it's kind of a mixture of things. I have two things from Target. One, two, three, four things from Sephora and one thing from Amazon. So for me, this is a lot for a, for a trying new makeup video. I haven't had so many new things in a while and I'm very excited. So if you guys are interested in seeing me trying out some new makeup and like hearing my thoughts, because some of these things I've tried quite a few times at this point, then keep on watching. Let's go. So I actually have two new primers and I've been like doing different primers on different products of my face, especially this time of year. So this is going to work out. So one of the products I have not tried out yet is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This was a point redemption at Sephora and I'm really excited to try it. Lately, I've been using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer on my nose because foundation just never sticks on my nose and I've been finding that I've had better luck when I use a gripping primer on my nose. The rest of my face though, I've been trying to do like hydration and glow and everything just because it's so dry right now. And finally, 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 since this launch, I have never seen the lightest shade in my Target ever, let alone any store I've been to. So I finally was able to find shade number one, which is fair, in the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury version. If I did, it was like a foil packet. I don't even remember it. I've never tried any of the things this is basically trying to dupe. I have used this one so far. I haven't fully formed an opinion on it. But right now I'm going to start by going in with these two products. I usually just do like a little pump of the e.l.f. for my nose. So hopefully the same I can do with the milk. I'm actually almost completely done with my e.l.f. primer. Every time I pump it out, I'm convinced it's gonna be the last pump, but I actually have another fully unopened one. So it's not something I was necessarily in a rush to purchase, like a backup of, but I'm excited to try this. Basically, I was feeling like it, once I finished my e.l.f. Jelly Pop, I was just going to get one of the other e.l.f. gripping primers to replace it, but now I have this. So that is on my nose. Now I'm going to go in with this. I feel like I should pull my hair back a bit. So I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I haven't really, I feel like, made the best decisions yet with how I actually want this to be. So right now, I'm just kind of hitting it in a couple places on my face. And then yesterday when I did this, I just used like a fluffy brush to like blend it in. I don't know if that's the best technique, but that's what I did yesterday. And I mean, it definitely, definitely adds glow, so. So far, like, I don't mind it. Okay, the next new product I have is a concealer. So what's interesting is in 2022, I never, as far as my, like, inventory went, I never got new primer and I never got new concealer. So here we are, starting the year off with those. But I think I bought this on Jessica Braun's recommendation. This is from Catrice. I haven't bought anything in Catrice for so long because I didn't know they were available on Amazon. But this is their True Skin High Cover Concealer. I've used this twice so far and I'm not that impressed with it. I got this in 002 Neutral Ivory. I just find that this settles into my fine lines more than other concealers I have. And like, yes, obviously, like if you have fine lines, it's gonna happen, but I feel like it's a little bit more intense with this concealer. And I think it's cause it's like, it's like a very light kind of moosiness. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. So far, I haven't been super impressed by this, but I mean, it's a $7 concealer. That's a hard price point to beat, but I'm just gonna go in with this BK Beauty brush and just hit some of the spots I was trying to spot conceal. And then I'm gonna use an e.l.f. sponge that's very stained. Look how stained it is. I promise it's clean. And blend out the concealer. Even when it blends out, I feel like, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not super impressed by the concealer just yet. It hasn't won me over. So that's with just those two products. Honestly, I feel like I probably could get away with just spot concealing and the, the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I feel like it actually does look healthy. I am going to add a little bit of foundation just to like show how foundation sits over it. And I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Easter Off. This is my favorite. So I feel like this is a good one to showcase that, especially since it's not a glowy foundation. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Okay, I'm just gonna blend it all together. My nose definitely could use a little help. <laughs> Mario is downstairs meowing so loud. 
I do wonder if the mic is picking it up. Mario has this meow where he meows so loud, but he's not meowing because he wants anything except he wants you to go and look that he has a sh like a ribbon in his mouth that he's playing with. That is literally the reason he meows. I also haven't tried mixing the Halo Glow with my foundation yet, which also I would like to try that version too. Also this bruise, I have a matching one here. I know this one is from hitting the doorknob of my front door and since it's at the same height, I'm guessing that's what this one's from too. This is what the skin is looking like right now. All right, I'm gonna throw on a little lip balm before I get to the lip products because my lips are so dry. This is the Buxom, what is it called? Powerful Plump Lip Balm. It's very pink. I try not to wear it like by itself because I do not like this shade of pink. All right, I'm gonna go on with my Revolution Bronzer. I have a Moda brush here. Tap it, a little there. Then I'm gonna go back in with the foundation brush and kind of blend it out. Tap all of it over with my sponge. Now I do have a new product I haven't tried yet. This was my birthday gift from Sephora. This is the Ilia Multi Stick in the shade At Last. I can't remember, but I did have one of these in last year's empties video, a full size that I fully finished up, and it was my favorite cream blush. Like, I was so excited when I saw that one of these cream blushes was a birthday option because they are $34 full price, and I loved how I could literally just scribble this on my cheeks and just blend it very easily, so. This shade's a little bit cooler than the one I had before, but I don't really have a shade like this. I feel like it's a really nice shade. And it just, it blends so effortlessly. It's seriously one of my all time favorite blush formulas. I'm very, very excited to have another shade. I am going to rub this lip balm off because the color is like really messed with my, my really messed with my head. I'm gonna use a little Laura Mercier setting powder and set under my eyes and like my brows and lids and everything. Typically I use a brightener under my eyes, but since I'm trying to show off the Concealer itself, I'm foregoing using a brightener today, but I usually either use the Becca under eye brightener or my new one from Milani. Oh my gosh, can you hear Mario? He really wants someone to look at his ribbon. Okay, I'm really quick gonna do NYX Brow Pencil ABH Clear Brow Gel, and I'll be right Okay, I'm gonna go in with my all over bronzer really quick and just bronze up with a powder bronzer really quick. So I technically have two lip products in this video. So I feel like I'm gonna put on one now and then like hop to the other one later. And I actually did put this one on while I was filming my haul from Sephora. This is the Tower 28 Juice Balm in the shade Mix. And it's just like a very comfortable kind of lip crayon. I will say I expected it to be a little bit more hydrating than it is, but also my lips are so dry. Even regular lip balms aren't doing it so maybe in another maybe in the next season it will be feeling a little bit more hydrating but right now for my super dry winter lips it's not keeping me ultimately hydrated so for my birthday i picked out the kaja stack in peach madeline which has one matte one shimmer and one like ultra foiled topper i've used this three times now and i still haven't figured out how i like to properly wear it and I almost feel like I don't like this on its own. So I'm gonna kind of start building it for you guys to see, but I feel like it needs a deeper shade. So I think I'm gonna bring in my Chocolate Dolly stack and go in with a deeper shade in this because I feel like what's nice about these is they're travel friendly and taking like the two of them really wouldn't be that big of a pain. So to make this one work, I feel like I need something to deepen it just because I think that's what's gonna work best. So I am gonna start with the peach shade. I'm gonna go in with this Firm Blending Eyeshadow Brush from I think yeah, it's Perfusion. I'm just gonna start by packing this all over. I do think it's a really pretty shade. I just, I feel like I prefer something to add a little bit of contrast to the look. And I didn't really realize when I was ordering this how much I was gonna rely on having something to add contrast. Okay, so that's that so far. I do have the same complaint with this one though as I do with the Chocolate Dahlia. The shimmers, even with my glitter primer, they fall out all day long, my entire face is covered in glitter by the end of the day, so let that be known. <laughs> I do think I'm just gonna go right in with the shimmers and kind of show you guys what they look like and then maybe we'll add some depth. So I'm going in with my NYX glitter primer. I tap it all over both lids. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do today, I haven't done this yet, I'm gonna put the foil in the center and then the shimmer around it. I don't know, maybe this is what I need to do. Like this is incredibly, incredibly flaky. 
So fun fact, the first time I wore this was on, I guess it was my birthday. And I got up early that day and did my makeup before waking up Phoebe. <laughs> and the first thing she said when she saw my eyes was shiny. So it's got a Phoebe stamp of approval. So this is the shimmer shade I'm going in with now. It's incredibly shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the peach and kind of work on my crease a little. But I don't know, I just feel like for me, I need a little depth in this look. I if it, it would be one thing if I felt like I could build this shade up, but it doesn't really build up very much. You know what I mean? Like some shades I feel like I can use as a crease shade and a building up shade, but this peach, it's not really building up very much for me, so. I am going to go into this with a different brush and just add a tiny bit over here. I don't even need like a lot, but I just feel like this, the tiniest little tap of a deeper brown, I feel like adds a lot more to the look. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. It could be my eye shape. I really don't know. I'm not an expert. I am gonna throw in a little eyeliner too. So I have a Burt's Bee eyeliner in soft black and my NYX Epic Ink eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. I am going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and just try to clean up a little bit under the eyes, trying to fluff away some of the shimmer that's already down there. Uh, let's see, what should I do next? How about blush? The blush, I randomly cannot put down. I have not been able to stop using this. Milani Luminoso. I've had this for so long and it really was neglected in my collection and I saw someone use it in a video recently and I was like, huh, that looks really nice. Why do I never use mine? And it really is such a nice blush. All right, I think I wanna do a little inner corner highlighting. So I've been actually using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, the glowy shade. Just using that as an inner corner highlight lately. Now I'm gonna go in with my discontinued Becca powder. It makes me want to cry thinking about not having this. And I'm going to set my face with it. And I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Gen X setting spray. This is my project pan. Now let's do lips because, okay, I wanna talk about this. I'm gonna try it two ways. Let's just do it regular first. I got the e.l.f. lip stain. Maybe it's a shade thing. I wanted a lip stain, but I didn't want a lip stain that like stained pink. I really don't like pink lips on myself. And something about my lips, I feel like whenever I pick a lip color, it always pulls very cool tone. <laughs> and I typically wear warm tone makeup looks, so it's very hard for me to find lip products that I like. So I grab this in the shade Coral Cutie. I'm gonna just put it on and like let it sit while I do my mascara. And then I might play with it a little because I haven't figured out how I love wearing this yet. So it's a very thin formula. It's comfortable. And I do like the shade, but that's what it kind of looks like when you first put it on. I'm gonna throw on my Thrive Mascara. I do feel like it doesn't last as long as I expected it to. I don't own any other lip stains, so I didn't really know what to expect. But I feel like something of this color, like I feel like it looks really good like this, but I feel like once it wears down a bit, the color isn't as, I guess, vibrant as I'd want it to be. But I really didn't want to have something that stained pink. So I kind of wanted to try something a little different today. So I'm gonna wipe this off. Actually, no, yeah. Like even wiping it, a little bit like that's kind of the color it stains your lips like it's not the worst i want to try and put a lip liner under it and see if that helps i don't want to line my entire lips because i feel like that will be too much but i didn't necessarily have a coral lip liner i felt like this one was pretty close this is actually kylie cosmetics shade 22. do you want to know how old this lip liner is i think i got it in 2016. So I felt like if I did that and then put this over top, maybe having that definition there would help with how the stain looks long-term. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, let me take my hair down for a second. Probably take the cat ears out. But I can't remember the last time I had a video where I had so many new products. Quick roundup. I mean, I feel like the foundation is all sticking to my nose, which is great. This I really like. Like I said, I really feel like I could pull off concealer, spot concealing in this, and I feel like it would still look really nice, which I'm really looking forward to trying that, especially come the summertime when I try not to wear too much. Concealer, 
I'm still not convinced. I don't know. It looks okay right now, but I feel like this is one where by the end of the day, it doesn't look great, which is not ideal. Blush, I already love this formula. I'm very excited to have this shade, something a little bit cooler. Great. Tower 28, I like. I'm looking forward to trying it in the summer. I feel like it's a better summertime product than right now when my lips are dry as you know what. Peach Madeline, like I said, I really needed to deepen the outer corner to really make this color story work, but the shimmers are just like transformative. I love them. I even have said in past videos that probably the best shimmer in my entire collection at that point was this shimmer in my Chocolate Dahlia stash. So <laughs> these are really good shimmers. Just they rain all day long. Lip stain, I really like the shade it is right now. I will be interested to see how it wears. I'm gonna leave a little right here and let you know what I think about it with the lip liner. And that was it. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think of all these products. Have you tried them? Is there anything you're looking for me to try? The things that are interesting me the most at this time right now are the blush, the new blushes from Essence, both the powder and stick ones that they just came out with. Those are calling my name a lot. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't get to do these too often, so it was really fun to sit down and film this. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.